Welcome to the Armani Talks YouTube channel, the number one YouTube channel for you to level up your communication skills, learn the art of public speaking, social skills, and personal branding to take your message to the world. For today's episode, we're entering the world of personal branding, and I'm going to be talking about content marketing in more detail. But before I do, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit subscribe right on below for three weekly videos on how to become a more confident communicator. So nowadays, there's so many different kinds of marketing. Say you're driving down the highway and out of nowhere, you see this big billboard. The big billboard writes, have you gotten into a car accident recently? Well, call 1-800-LAWYERS and we will take care of you. That right there, that's billboard marketing. Let's say you're on the internet and you're going through a certain website and then boom, a pop-up comes up. That's called pop marketing. There's also banner marketing. And there's a lot of different forms of ways nowadays people are trying to sell to you. And overall, marketing sometimes gets a bad rep because people think it's a very sleazy term. In my eyes though, one of the best ways to market your personal brand is what I call content marketing. Content marketing has become very popular in the recent ages, but it's not that new. It's something that our entire world is built upon, showcasing value and then receiving value back, AKA money or brand recognition. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about content marketing or what I call story marketing or attraction marketing in more depth. And if you're starting a blog, YouTube channel, if you're trying to build your business on the online space, then this video is going to be for you. A lot of the things that are going on nowadays externally is causing us to be in our house more, which allows us at this point to invest in a new skill set. Well, today you're going to understand how to add content marketing into your skill set, but not do it in a sleazy way. Do it the honest, ethical way. If you're ready to level up your content marketing skills, make sure you drop a like right on below and let's begin. Content marketing is two different words. And these two words and understanding of these words will help you out tremendously in the long run. So let's break down each of these words. Let's focus on content first. What is content? If you say the word content in a different way, content, it's a completely different word. To be content is to be bliss, to be at peace. But content, what exactly does that mean? That right there means information. But if we want to talk about context in relation to this video, it means valuable information. So content means valuable information, which begs the question, what is valuable information? Well, if you watch my last video, it was called the five human desires. Those human desires, if you can target one or multiple of those human desires and elevate them, the desire to learn, the desire to acquire, the desire to bond, the desire to protect, and the desire to feel. If you can see what your audience is desiring and you can elevate them in that journey, then you have provided value. So say someone has the desire to learn, figure out what they want to learn and elevate them just a little bit more and boom, your content is valuable information. So that's the first part, content. The second part is marketing. I gave you a bunch of examples of marketing in the beginning of this video, but in a nutshell, in the core principle, marketing means to bring awareness to. Bring awareness to what? Well, that depends on the life cycle of your business. If you're just starting off your personal brand and you don't have any offers, then you don't have anything necessarily to sell. But what you are bringing awareness to at this point is your expertise in that given skill set. You are bringing more awareness to your brand. These are very important stuff. Even if you don't have a product, you can still leverage content marketing. And down the line, when you do have a product, then you market by bringing awareness to your product. So that right there is content marketing. The reason that I call it story marketing is because the content as a whole, when you break it down, I don't like the word information too much. Cause when you say information, it sounds as though there's no life behind it. It's just here, here's valuable information. And 
your brain overall, it needs to be told what to do. So when you just say information, it doesn't sound as something that's a creative process. But when you say story, that right there is still information, but story sounds more full of life to the brain. And overall, the content that you are sharing is a form of story. Story is just a connection of ideas in a sequence. And typically, a story can be presented via words or via images. When it's presented via words, that's when you get information in the blog format. When you get information presented via images, you get a movie. A movie is a form of story. So overall, I call it storytelling marketing, but you can also call it content marketing. The main strategy behind content marketing, like why do people do this, is because it tends to work for you even when you are not working. But here's a quick disclaimer. This is a long-term journey. Content marketing, it's not something that you're going to see results for overnight. It's something that you're going to see results for over time. And I just wanna share a very fascinating story with you on the day when I realized that content marketing was pretty dope. And I wasn't even expecting it to go down like this. So last year, I was taking a lot of clients for people who wanted to improve their speaking skills, whether it was public speaking, becoming a better storyteller, building their personal brand, et cetera. And around that time, I had a mentor who was helping me get my business up and running. And I was mainly getting a lot of my clients through Twitter. If you don't follow me on Twitter, make sure you check me out there. But at that time, that was my main focal point for getting clients. Well, one day my mentor asks me, where are you getting most of your clients from? I said, through Twitter. He's like, you sure it's all from Twitter? I was like, well, it could be from other stuff, but I'm pretty sure it's from Twitter. He's like, what else could it be from? I was like, well, I have a YouTube channel, I have a podcast, I have a blog as well. He's like, I want you to ask your clients where they are finding you. This is urgent, okay? This is very, very important. Now, I thought he was just blowing this thing out of proportion, but I was like, all right, all right, I'll listen to you. Well, one of those days, I asked my client, hey, where'd you find me from? And he responds back with, through your blog. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Through my blog? You didn't find me through Twitter? And he's like, you have a Twitter? And at that point, my mind was blown. I was like, wait a minute, which blog? And he says, the Toastmasters Icebreaker blog. So that day I go onto Google, I type in Toastmasters Icebreaker speech, and there it is. On the first page, one of my blogs are showing up. So at this point, Google is sending me traffic via a content that I wrote months and months back. And that client, overall, I worked with him for a few months. So a piece of content that I de developed months back finally started maturing, it started aging, and eventually it converted into a client. So that's when I started to understand that content marketing was a long-term game. It's something that allows for a long-term projection. So if you are going to go down this route, there's a few tips that I have. One of the tips is to evaluate and understand your business model. There's certain businesses that shouldn't only focus on content marketing. And if you're using Facebook ads, for example, and you're seeing good ROI on that, then keep on doing what you're doing. But it never hurts to also add content marketing into your arsenal as well. For the Armani Talks brand, I go off of referral marketing, which is word of mouth. I'm in a business organization offline. And I also have content marketing for online where I create videos, blogs, podcasts, etc. So that's my first tip, evaluate your business model. My next tip is to understand that it is a long-term game. The beauty about content marketing is that you are creating a brand. You are creating a body of work to stand on. Why is a brand so powerful? Well, if you look at the word brand and you look at the word brain, the words are very similar looking. And there's a reason for that. When I go to Walmart, for example, and say there's a lot of different uh, hand wipes. I'm not going to go to any other hand wipes but the Lysol one. Automatically, my brain is attracted to Lysol. 
But what's funny is that there's so many other different brands out there that my brain isn't familiar with. And if we think about it, these other brands, I mean, they're businesses. They have teams that work months and months to design this product, to market this product, to hopefully sell this product, all for guys like me to completely ignore it and go straight to Lysol. Why? It's because our brain is constantly being uh, surrounded with information every single day. So that's why it compartmentalizes different pieces of information to draw into anytime it needs to. And that's what a brand is. A brand is simply an entity that is registered in the brain. So as you're doing content marketing and you're investing for the long term, what happens is you're also creating a brand long term. So don't think about it in day-to-day -day levels. If you post a blog today, it may not be for months until you see traction. Same with YouTube. There's certain times I post a video, it's not doing well at all, but a few months later when I check, it's bringing in a lot of new subscribers, it's bringing in a lot of new traffic. So if you want to do the content marketing route, then think long term. My third tip is to create content around something that you're good at or you want to become great at. You don't wanna just create content around something that is hot right now because like I said, it's a long-term game. And if something's a long-term game, that means you have to keep on showing up day in and day out over a long time span. So it's best that you're at least having fun, which is why you should create videos, blogs, podcasts around stuff that interests you. For me, I naturally am interested in storytelling and in communication skills, so it doesn't feel like work. It's just something that I do for fun. But if it's something that I don't do for fun, then it's going to feel like work. And most likely, I'm not gonna stick with it long term. There's gonna be way too much tension that's eventually going to start piling on top of one another. So pick something that you truly enjoy or you could see yourself enjoying down the line. Overall, I think content marketing is here to stay and it's not something that's relatively new. It's something that is a core principle in humans. If you read a lot of religious teachings, you'll see the concept, give and then you shall receive. Well, in terms of content marketing, you are giving value and eventually, after certain time spans, you will receive whether it's money, whether it's brand recognition, whether it's a following, etc. But this is a timeless principle that I've built the Armani Talks brand out of. And since you made it this far, I'm just gonna give you one last bonus tip. Have a content creation schedule. It doesn't need to be super specific, but you should at least have a schedule for sticking to it long term. So I don't have a certain time that I post these YouTube videos, but for me, Monday, Wednesday, Friday is the days for YouTube. Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays are the days for podcasts. And every single day, I send out a short story via email format. This is my personal schedule but you should have your own personal schedule as well. I don't care how it looks, but have something that allows you to be consistent. Give and you shall receive. So I just wanna give you a quick little recap of content marketing again, because a lot of these other people, they make it seem like a short-term strategy, while in reality, you need to be investing at least a year and a half into it until you start seeing good results. You'll see results before then, but I'm talking about significant momentum. It happens in at least a year and a half, depending on your particular niche. Content marketing. Content is valuable information, also known as stories, and marketing is bringing awareness to. Bringing awareness to what? It could be your brand, it could be a product, it could be a service, etc. This is a long-term game. Don't expect to see results overnight. Allow yourself to be patient. Keep on working on your strategy so eventually the content starts working for you. Keep giving value to the external world and eventually you'll be receiving. And focus on things that you enjoy. Don't focus on doing stuff that is hot right now or just because someone else is doing it. This is you learning to master your skill set and committing to the process. Think about it as a way of chronicling your journey towards mastery. This is a little mindset shift that pays dividends down the line. Overall, 
Nowadays, a lot of people are having more time to themselves to invest in a new skill set. I highly recommend learning how to leverage content, technology, and your messaging to create a brand that will eventually outlast you. I appreciate you for joining the Armani Talks YouTube channel, and I'll catch you on the next episode.